Next up, we have Triple G. And what this, what the announcement of this Triple G fight tells me is something that I, I, I'm sure a lot of people already know and think, which is that Triple G does not want another hard fight in his career unless it's Canelo. I think him choosing to fight a day before Canelo is obviously not coincidental. I think he in his mind knows that uh, he feels like he has nothing left to prove in the sport. He has a huge deal with the zone, so I, I believe he's just going to take fights like Sarameda, like Steve Rose before that, fights that, you know, that don't present too big a risk and hope that he lands that third Canelo fight um, and then just sail off into the sunset. I, 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 I think, I mean, to be honest though, again, I'm sure a lot of people know this and they've they've spoken out about it and they they criticize and judge Triple G for it. But, I mean, Triple G's 35. He's fought the top of the division at the time before uh, Bubu Andre came up, before Billy Joe Saunders was really in, in that mix. So he already, he already proved himself. There's no need for him to take risk. And this dude has 400 amateur fights, 42 professional fights. He went toe to toe with Canelo twice, who is widely regarded right now as a pound for pound number one. So in his mind, he's probably thinking, why am I going to fight Charlo? Why am I going to fight Jacobs again? Why am I going to fight anyone other than Canelo if I don't have to? Have I already proved that Canelo and I are the two best on the planet, right? Um, so I don't, I don't judge Triple G for it. I think it's a smart business move. I think he, he's given the show, he's given the people plenty of phenomenal fights of great shows. And I just want to see if he can get one last eight figure payday in before he just leaves. Um, I, I think Sarameda, I mean, that's going to be, I believe Triple G is going to get him out there between the third and the fifth round. I did some research on Sarameda. I saw a couple of his last fights. I saw some highlights of his and I was actually pretty surprised. I thought he was going to be European style, hands up, come straight forward, walk into shots and you know, outwork his opponents, but I mean, I clearly had no idea because when I looked, when I looked him up, it was the complete opposite. He has he has nice creativity. He's he's actually a, he's a good boxer. He has he has head movement. He feints. He has he has he uses jab. Um, so he actually has all the tools, but he has all the tools at a lower level. He's too slow for the elite. Um, he. He doesn't have the hand speed to actually use his skills at a high level. You, you're going to see him, anytime he fights lower level opposition, you're going to see him do really nice things, you know, slip, throw. He has good fundamentals, pull back, you know, he has nice little head movement, nice feints, creative with it too, jabs the head, jabs the body, sets up his punches nice, but it's at a very slow speed. So when you have a guy like Triple G who has an Olympic silver medalist who has fought, I mean, the best of the best throughout his professional amateur career, then a guy like Sarameda, he won't, I mean, that they're, they're just operating at different, at different levels, right? I have no idea how Sarameda became mandatory for the IBF. I think that's, that's questionable. Um, but I mean, Props to him for taking it. I think um, he's very he's very front foot heavy when he when he throws the jab, especially jabs to the body. He's very he leans in. It takes him too long to get back out of range. You know he'll feint, he'll move, he'll move his head a little bit, and then he'll lunge forward with that jab to the body, and it takes him way too long to come back. Right. So him being him being a southpaw leading with that right hand triple G is gonna ha comes in with his left hand high right so it's gonna be easy for triple G to block that block that body jab come back with a left hook over the top because it takes 
Sarmeda too long to actually get back out of range. So I think the left hook is going to be a pretty important weapon. I think Triple G is going to dominate him with the jab as well. Um, because of Sarmeda's style, in the first, I, I think the first round is going to be pretty uneventful. I think, I think towards the end of the first round, Triple G is going to start to to use once the jab is established at the end of the first round he's going to start to use that right hand that left hook a little bit more and I think um, Sermeda has obviously never been in there with an animal like Triple G so the moment that jab that stiff jab stiff jab starts to land and you see Sermeda backing up I believe uh, I believe he's going to cave in I think um, he's going to start backing up and he's going to start backing into the ropes and I wouldn't be surprised if the end came with a body shot, left hand to liver, or with a left hook upstairs, or a or straight, or just a straight right hand. Um, but I think, but I think that doesn't go more than three or five rounds tops. Uh, I think that um, Triple G's still has the power he still has um he obviously has the fundamentals so that's that's an easy one